County, where roads are actually reopening after last night's flooding. Our Trace and Brack continuing our live team coverage in Roswell, where floodwaters there are beginning to recede. Trace and. That's right, Karen. I mean, a lot has changed in the last hour and a half. Take a look behind me. This is all of the flood water that actually remains here on Azalea Drive in Roswell. But just to give you an idea of how far this water stretched, take a look at that car way back there. Flood water stretched all the way to that car, and it was actually deep flood water because it flooded that car out this morning. I was just awakened by all the lightning and all the rain. I couldn't sleep till about like two. Heavy storms roared through the metro this morning, causing dangerous floodwaters and forcing emergency rescues. Now I woke up at about five this morning and I just see all the fire trucks and hear a helicopter coming. Along Columns Drive in Marietta, the floodwaters trapped this car in the middle of the road, forcing the driver to leave it behind in pursuit of safety. How the heck did that happen? It's just one of many vehicles in the area now waterlogged and in need of a tow. I didn't think I was ever going to see this, or at least in this neighborhood, I didn't think so. Well, it wasn't the only neighborhood drowned in flood water this morning. After a 15-minute drive to Roswell, I found more of the same along Azalea Drive. A stranded car, flood waters, even caught a brave soul with rolled-up shorts wading through the knee-high water. This is uh, very different than Reno, Nevada. Do you live in this neighborhood? A big surprise for this jogger who tells me he just moved to Georgia five months ago. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, you know, for many, many, many miles, I've run along here and now I can't. <laughs> the water here swelling from the Chattahoochee, stretching as far as the eye can see. We got overdone this time. <laughs> Warning folks to turn around and head back in the direction they came from. Well, you see a biker making his way down Azalea, but I want to tell you right now, the barricades are still up, meaning this section of Azalea Drive is still closed. Even though the flood water has drastically subsided, we're going to continue to stay on top of what's happening in this area and let you know the very latest. Reporting live in Roswell, I'm Trayson Bragg, CBS 46 News. Yeah, Trayson, Chopper 46 flew over. You can see some areas, it looks like no flood water, but then you can see water on other parts of Azalea. So... I don't understand why that biker wanted to go through that barricade. Very dangerous right now. So thank you so much for that update.